Tamara, you are chasing the story. Cover the New York Post. This homeless woman with, I guess in homeless terms, this is like a McMansion. What do you got? Sonia Gonzalez, known as the woman who runs Hell's Kitchen, every day meticulously moved a caravan of over 20 shopping carts, luggage bags, as well as a dolly up and down these west side streets until Wednesday evening when the sanitation department crushed her entire worldly possessions. I got those bottles plastic um, uh, uh, bottles for soda, uh, and cans. And, and cats? And cans, cans. And cans? And what do you do with them? Do you sell them? Yeah, when they're recycling. Now, I spent most of Wednesday afternoon with Sonia. I found her on the corner of 51st Street. She was feeding her cat. And I asked her if I could walk with her down to where she had parked all of her shopping carts on 45th Street. As we walked down the street, I learned a little bit more about her. Uh, I moved 1982. I mean, in, 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 I, I got married at that time with my first husband. Yeah. And I stay in the West Side. Why yeah. do you like the West Side better? Um, settling things, more store, more cheap store. Now, as we were walking down the street, we were actually walking with one of our friends named 360, and every person that walked by either said hi, someone gave her um, some money, people asked how she was doing. She's a staple in this community. In fact, John Bolger, he has grown up in Hell's Kitchen. He sees her nearly every day. He said he thinks of her metaphorically. And I look at her as like a modern day person who's got nowhere to go. She doesn't bother anybody. She meticulously takes one cart at a time one cart at a time, doesn't bother anybody, doesn't harass anybody, but there's gotta be something disconnected here. Now when we got to our carts, which were parked right here along this wall right here, there was a lot of commotion, there was police around, and in fact they even had homeless services here trying to talk with her, trying to get her help, which she refused, she didn't want. Um, and for hours they tried and tried and tried to get her help. And I asked her, I said, do you think that they're going to take your stuff away? And she said, no. Well, she was wrong. Right before the sunset, the sanitation department came and took all of her cards one by one and put them into the sanitation machine. Bill, they didn't even recycle them. She had all those cans, all those bottles, all that stuff she wanted. She said they needed to pay her for that. They did not. Thanks, Tamara. Guys, we're now joined by legal expert Amy Dardashtian. Uh, Amy, you know, we're talking about this woman who some say is the shadow mayor of New York. She's on the front page of the New York Post and all her carts are gone. Does she have a case against the city? She absolutely does. I mean, this is a Fourth Amendment guaranteed constitutional right. Your, cast, your home is your castle. And guess what? For people who are homeless, that's the street. But what about public safety? Well, you know what? It's questionable whether she's a public nuisance. They're trying to make this case the city that she was obstructing traffic. Um, she was obstructing the crosswalks. The fact of the matter is, though, it can be argued that she was on the move. Now, what about when she's not moving and her stuff's on the sidewalk? Well, there's still a rite of passage for people to get by. So, um, you know, cities in the past have tried to crack down um, on the homeless by issuing these minor infractions. My issue with this is aside from all of that, police acted after this is on the front page of the New York Post. This woman's been out there with a caravan of grocery carts for years and she's far from the only one. It's a massive problem. Why is the NYPD single her out and go after her just because a Post photographer caught her and put her on the cover of the paper? All right, thanks, Amy.